Jesus is the way, is the guidance and a light. We cannot do this without Him. As man is walking, he has to walk in his accountants. A life without Christ would be a victim of the devil. Spirit is the path to conquer the flesh. Let Jesus guide you, lead you in everything you do. So we are here now. Tell us, did you kill your Are you dead? We have been asking you the same question for the past two days. You have not been answering us. Why did you kill us now? Why? A marriage that is just two years, two years, and you kill that man of God just like that. You are an Adam criminal. Since you got here, you have not said anything. Huh? See, answer our question now. Why did you kill us now? Why? Um, I have something to say. Okay. Go on, go on. Can I get sweet to lick? Ah, what? What? What are you saying? You can do it. Can you imagine? Which kind of stupid and nonsense woman is this? Are you your senses at all? Answer our question now before we deal with you messily. Mrs. Kumula, just tell us. Why did you kill your husband? Come in. Sir, uh. There she is. Well done, officers. Look at this devil. This criminal! Devil! Now tell me, why did you kill my son? Why did you kill Joshua? So you still have the strength to talk and walk around. Look at your back. What can you see? Nothing. So you can't identify your shadow? My shadow? I mean, what, what has my shadow got to do with all this? What? You can ask your shadow what killed your son. Have you forgotten that you cannot hide anything from God? You cannot! Hello dear, how are you? Uh, we are missing you greatly in the house. How is Vera, my baby? She's fine, she should be somewhere in the house. Vera! Uh, she's not responding. I'm sure she's somewhere in the house. We have just finished our breakfast. That reminds me, I need to tell you this. Pastor Komalafe called. And he said he needs. He said he needed some money to the tune of two hundred and fifty thousand naira for his family to settle some important issues. Where can we get that kind of money from? You didn't tell him that the church pocket is empty. We followed God's leading by donating all to the orphanage home. I I, I did. I told him, but he kept on pleading, and then. 
asking for for money. He, he was aware. In fact, himself and the church secretary were, in the, were involved in the process. But so I don't know why he should be asking for money again when he knows that we are we've taken everything that we had to the orphanage. We took about 5.7 million. I told him, but he, he was just he kept on pleading and begging. So why is he not asking for money again? It is well. We've been missing you so much. Though Vera is not missing you, is <laughs> she keeps on playing with his, with her daddy. But I'm missing you so strongly, my dear. And uh, I will be expecting you. Please don't forget to come with a lot of candies and chocolate, at least for Vera. No problem. Yes, so bless you. This will be today. Mrs. Komala, your husband is dead. Did you kill him? to help you. Was he a troublesome man? Did he harass you? Did he maltreat you? Is he, is he a monster? A monster? <laughs> that man is a beast. Beast? At least... You, you, you are speaking after all this while. I'm, I'm all yes, I'm all yes. Why is nobody talking about his father? His, his father? Pastor Komalafe. Hello? Who is speaking? Dead? How? Where? Where? <laughs> See, I, I, I have to get going now. I would get back to you. I have to get out of here right now. See, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. What I'm saying is, there are a lot of challenges in the church. There are lots of things that is taking money from the church. And you know, as a friend, I told you about the orphanage. We have just donated 5.7 million naira to the orphanage. Eh? So the sum of what I'm saying is this. The church is very, very broke now. They are very broke. Uh, yes, I understand all this. Uh... Church expenses, but sir, I need this money. I, I, I am desperate. It's very urgent. I, it's, it's very urgent. Sir, please help me. Help me out. Even if it's from your personal account. I will appreciate it. <laughs> personal account? <laughs> I don't run a personal account. There's no money in our account. We live by faith. Myself and my wife, we are surviving only by faith. It is only by the grace of God that we are surviving. You know. There's nothing at hand, nothing. Everything we put into God's work, everything. But when I discussed with my wife, and um, she felt pity for the whole situation, and she gave me uh, fifty thousand naira to give to you. Fifty thousand naira. Th thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm grateful, sir. Yeah, Please help me extend my greetings to mom. Please manage to give us and continue to pray. We'll be remembering you as things changes. As the situation improves, we will we'll, we'll, we'll remember you. Ah, Joshua, Joshua. Big boy. <laughs> Great boy. God bless you, eh? Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. I'm grateful. You are welcome. That was great, Mommy. Okay. Joshua, let's go. God will help you. More will come. More money will come.
Adi, what is happening? Why are you angry? Joshua, this is what I've been telling you that you must be rich. You just have to be rich. You have no excuse not to be rich. You, you must be wealthy. Eh? Look, I came to Pastor Johnson to request for 250,000 naira to pay your school fees. And see, he gave me just 50,000 naira. What will I do with 50,000 naira? Eh? What will I do with it? And look at the massive buildings all around. Look at them. Look at them. The church owns all this building. You know? The church is rich. Oh. But whenever I come to the church for assistance, they won't give me. They'll be giving one excuse or the other. Ah. I wish your mommy was alive. This won't be happening to me. Daddy, it is real. Money will come your way. And you'll be able to take care of me in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Uh, uh, Joshua, let's go. Uh, uh, Joshua, Sir? you may have to push the car a little, you know, push it, you know, the, the, the battery is bad. You know, I've not been able to buy another one. But this place is sloppy. So if you push it a little, it will just go to start. Again? Uh, yes, my son. Please push it. Eh? Thank you. Mrs. Komala you just need to talk. Are you not tired of the whole thing? You just need to speak. Pity yourself. Pity the condition you are. You are pregnant. For God's sake. And you are still proving stubborn. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you scared about the word knowing? That you killed the father of the unborn child? Are you? <laughs> it seems like you are forgotten that your church members are bothered and worried about this rumor of you killing your husband. Mrs. Vera Komolafe, can you please talk? What really happened? I'd like to say something. Okay, okay. good. Say it. Oh, yes. If I give Betty, will you take care of your child? <sighs> well, that I can say. But there will be a provision for the child. So, why are you disturbing me? Why are you asking me a question? I'm not ready to answer your question. I am fine the way I am. I'm fine here. What is actually happening concerning this woman's case? Mrs. Vera Komalafe. What's going on? Sir, all the efforts to get the truth from this woman proved abortive. The woman is proving so stubborn. Very stubborn, sir. Sir, she's making a fool of herself. You can't imagine. She said she's comfortable where she is. A woman to be comfortable in such a place? Hmm. Pastor Komalafe is also dead. So devastating. It is so devastating. Three days. Three days after the death of Mr. Joshua Komalafe. The father died also. What's going on? And there is the need for us to buckle up our beds and investigate and find out what is really going on. Yes, yes sir. sir. <sighs> I will personally see the lady too. So you can go. Okay, sir. This is Vera Komalafe. Ah, your husband's father is dead. I know. No? Alright. Did you kill your husband? Mr. DPU, for you to get answer to your question, you need to find out what killed his father. Listen, I am not here for pranks. I am here for a serious business. Did you understand? Yes, I understand. 
Good. The first question is, did you kill your husband? Mr. D.P. To get the answers to your questions, you need to find out what killed his father. What do you mean? You mean, if I know what killed the father, I will know what killed your husband. Is that what you're saying? If you guys are smart enough. Listen, I don't have the luxury of time. Are you sure of what we're saying? <laughs> Not very sure. Woman, don't frustrate me. <laughs> Mr. DP, who am I to frustrate you? Who am I to frustrate you? <laughs> Good afternoon. Daddy. 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 Dele. Dele. Daddy. Daddy. Dele. Yes, 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 yes. What's happening? Daddy. What's happening? Daddy is not asking. Daddy is not talking. Daddy is not talking. Daddy. Daddy! That's all? <laughs> yes, yes. Was he sick? Or probably he complained of any ailment? That he was not sick. That he was not sick. That he is always drunk. He's always up and doing. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dilly, what can you say about uh, Pastor Komalape? Ah. Daddy, oh no, me. Daddy was my helper. <laughs> he was the reason why I am not dead. Yes, we all know. We know that. We know that he was a very good man before he died. But what we're asking is that what happened to him? Ah. I don't know anything. I really don't know. I was in my room when Janet made an alarm. Dele! Dele! Then I rushed in. Janet, Daddy. Daddy is gone. You are his driver, right? Yes. So you should know, if he is sick, paraventure you've taken him to a pharmacy 
before. Has that happened? No. Daddy was very strong. He was never sick. Never. Hello? Sir! Yeah. Have you gotten any clue to what killed that man? Not yet, sir. Good. Arrest everyone that is in that house. The issue is becoming complicated. Also, we need to do an autopsy. As long as the result is yet to come out, they will all remain in our custody. Is that understood? Yes, sir! Good. You two, you are under arrest. Ah! Oh, We should be thanking God for the success of the village outreach. I mean, it was a huge success. The Lord really proved himself. It was so good. We almost lost hope. The first we were expecting did not come. We, 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 we had lack of funds. But at the last minute, God made divine provisions available. Ah, praise God. God will bless the family of the Igarus. God have you used them tremendously for the blessing of this place. Hmm. Indeed, God will bless them. Greatly in Jesus' name. I hope um, Vera and Joshua will be here on time. Sir. That reminds me. I have a serious financial need. Um, I have to settle Joshua's school fees. I need the sum of 350000 desperately. Uh, you know Joshua is in his final year. And it's urgent that I settle this. Uh, I, I don't know if you can be of help to this. Pastor Komalafe. Pastor Komalafe. Ah, ah. I don't, I don't, I don't even have 5,000 Naira in all my bank accounts. The church is so dry too. You know, we look unto Jesus for every provision. <laughs> but sir, uh, I was just wondering that you know, the leftover we have in the outreach account, you know, we, we, we had so much and then we, we didn't finish spending the money. Maybe you could just help me with you know, part just just a little out of that. I mean, three hundred and fifty thousand naira. Will not there's still something in the outreach account? Pastor, you are always too hasty in your conclusions. Don't be too hasty, ah, because the leftover money you are talking about, we use this to get landed property and at least to do something small in the village, so that the villagers will have a place to be worshiping. And what, sir? Oh, praise the Lord! God is great! God is beautiful! God is wonderful! Ah, thank you, my daughter! Ah. That's good. Vera, which course? Computer science. I just wish that your mother is here today to witness this thing, this good thing that has just happened. She will be happy looking at us from heaven. Congrats, sir. Thank you. It is well, sir. Um, sir, then our discussion. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. I should look unto Jesus. Yes. The author and finisher of my faith. Yes. Look unto Jesus. And he will never let you down. But, but sir, um, you see, look at now. You don't know that challenge is all over the place. Look at her now. This is another challenge. Challenge is all over. There are a lot of challenges here and there. We are only trusting God. So even for this, I have to be trusting God. 
the Lord will meet your name. Joshua, that is why. Thanks for the visit. Thank you very much for the visit. That's okay, my Please come. Yes. Are you in doubt that I have money I don't want to give to you? But we don't have the money. We trust only in Jesus to make supplies. Vera. Okay, Vera. That is the principle you should learn. Looking unto Jesus for your supplies. After a small thing, he comes here demanding for money, asking for money. What, what do we have? We also trust in Jesus to make provisions. Hmm. Jesus. How will we raise the money? <laughs> Where will I get the money for Joshua to return to school? Hmm? Ah, Jesus. Dad, I believe strongly that God will provide. I mean, if you surely do. <sighs> Pastor Johnson. Pastor John saying, Joshua, do you know that this same man caused the death of your mom? How? <sighs> your mom had breast cancer. Um, sir, you need to bring the sum of 2.5 million naira. We have to do surgery to remove our breast milk. Jesus. But where will I get that huge amount of money from? Oh. Well, sir, please treat it as a matter of urgency. Or else you may lose that. God. What is all this? Why? Why? Why is all this happening to me? 2.5 million. I don't even have 400,000 naira in my account. Ah, oh God. But why is this happening? God, why? Why? Excuse me, doctor. Hello, sir. Hello, Pastor Kamala Fair. How is your wife? Ah, she has a lump in her breast and we need 2.5 million naira to remove it. Ah, sir, we need your help. Uh, sir, but please, how, how can you be of help to us? Where will we get such a colossal amount of money? The church bus is very, very dry. But, but sir, please, please, we, we just have to do something. Please, sir, and we can announce in church. Maybe members' contribution will be enough to get the money. Then, then again, sir, you can also contact uh, other pastors, uh, pastors of other churches. That could be of help. Sir, please, please. Well, I will, I will do that. I will do that. I will, I will try and do that. But one thing I'm sure of is this. The Lord will definitely heal your wife in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful. Ask me, sir. Don't allow patients to make excuses. Absolutely. It took two good weeks for Pastor Johnson to raise the money. And it was after your mommy died that he brought the money to me. 
I then asked him if the money he brought was for her funeral or for her treatment. My son, I was so sad. I wept and wept and wept bitterly. Hello, Joshua. Hello, Vera. Yeah, have you seen the school calendar? They pasted it about an hour ago. Okay. Um, they said the school is resuming on Monday. So, Daddy said I should um, start preparing because I must resume on Monday. And you know, today is Wednesday. So, I need to start packing my things. Okay. Congratulations once more. What about you? When will you be coming to school? See, so when God provides. Like, I don't understand. I meant there's no money yet for resorption. Oh, sorry, Vera. I'm in the middle of serious discussion. Oh, please, let me call you back, please. Okay, all right, no problem. That must be Vera. Sure, Dad. And what did she say? She said she'll be going to school on Monday. Can you see? Can you see what I've been telling you? Can you see? That means a father lied to me. He lied to me. That man had that money all this while. Yet I pleaded, I begged him. He, he didn't give it to me. Ha! Pastor Johnson. This is Vera Komalafe. Do you like the way we are treating you here? Do you? You see, I want to help you. But there is the need for you to help yourself by telling me the truth. Number one. Why did you kill your husband? Why? Number two. How did you get to know that your father-in-law was dead? For I know you've been in our custody all this while. So how did you get to know since there was nobody to tell you? I don't own it. I am happy he's dead. What did you say? Vera! I hope you know that all these things you are saying have been used against you in the court of law. And who told you I don't know Mr. DPO? I have something very important to tell you. What's that, sir? Good news. Good news? I have gotten your school fees. <laughs> <laughs> but how? I mean, where? <laughs> how do you get it? I don't. I borrowed it. Ah, oh, Dad, you don't have to borrow now. You don't have to. No, you see, I have to. Your education is very important to me. I want you to be successful in life. Oh, thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, God bless you. That's me. okay, my son. God to bless you, sir. Amen. God will increase on every side and you will pay back the debt in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Daddy. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. God bless you, my son. A quick one. All right, sir. I want you to marry Vera. Marry Vera? Ah, why are you talking about marriage all of a sudden? Not even just talking about marriage, you are saying I should marry Vera. Yes, that is my choice. I want you to marry Vera. Ah. Ah. Now? No, 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 no. I mean in the future. But you see, you have to start planning now. You have to scheme. You know, you have to organize. You know, you know how men do now. You have to plan your ways. Get close to Vera. Make sure that no other man gets close to her. You understand? 
eh, because she rightfully belongs to you. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Look, you don't need to get it. You don't need to understand. Just do as I said. Period. <laughs> but dad? Yes? Is this by Blika? Will you stop that? Are we talking about Bible now? Look, we are talking about reality. Most times, Biblical principles don't align with the reality on ground. This ah. is reality, yes. This is reality. I'm a pastor. I cannot mislead you. I'm telling you the facts. Now, listen to me. You know you are resuming school. Eh? Yes. Once, once you get to school, you know, just plan. You know, you know how to penetrate. You know, know how to assess her. Eh? And it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name. <laughs> I want you to do something. You have to go to Pastor Johnson's house. Search the place in and out. Also, move to Pastor Kamala first place. Search everywhere in that house. This lady cannot be playing with our intelligence. There must be something she's hiding. There must be. Yes, sir. Take note of everywhere and everything. Is that understood? Yes, sir! Thank you. Vera! Vera! How could I want you to be careful about the guys on this campus? They are dangerous. They don't have good minds. Wait, I don't understand you. When did you become this jealous? Eh? When did you become this jealous? This person you are talking about is my classmate and my church member. There is nothing involved and I'm sure you know him in the fellowship. Mm, even at that, be careful. Be careful. Eh? Okay, oh, my monitoring spirit. Mm, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I can be your monitoring spirit. Where are you going to now?
I did not. It's not in here. See, I, 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 I think we should go to the men's room and the, and the gate man's room. Since these are the rooms that we have not checked. I think you are making sense. Let's go. This was found during the search, sir. This diary was found in Pastor Joshua's closet. In this substance, in Pastor Kumalafe's house. Sir, the content of this diary is still very shocking, sir. They all must be killed? What, what, what can this mean? It's all right. Take the substance to the narcotics section for analysis. We need to know what it is. Yes, okay, sir. sir. Good. I need to see the lady. The lady is too stubborn. Too stubborn? Yes, I'm stubborn. Look, woman. I am not here to trade what's with you. And I'm not ready to buy it either. We found this in Pastor Joshua's house. Your house. Who are the people you are trying to kill? Pastor Joshua and his members? confess now, but I just want to speak with you and I don't want anybody to know what I want to say. I'm on yes. There was a time that um, Something was disturbing me and my husband. So I tried telling my husband, but he was not listening. So I decided to write it down in my diary. Yes, yes. Who are those you are trying to kill, or what are those things? Cockroaches. What did you just say? Cockroaches. What do you mean? What rubbish? No sense. What rubbish? Hello. Poison? Poison. your husband. Look woman, I will deal with you. You can't deal with me. I will do that. You will see. limited time to spend in this school, meaning I will soon graduate. I know. Okay. And I have something very important to discuss with you. I am all yes. I don't know how to say it, but I must say it. Say it anyhow. All right. I want us to start a relationship that will lead to marriage. Vera, I love you. I love you so much. And I know that God has hand in it. Are you joking right now? I'm joking. I'm not joking. I'm damn serious. I'm deeply in love with you. <laughs> Have you prayed about it? Like I said earlier, God has hand in it. You will give me time to think and pray about it. <laughs> uh -uh. 
<laughs> What's funny? Is it not surprising that you're asking me for a relationship? Well, you know I've always loved you. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. I'll pray about it. I don't know, sir. What is this? I don't know, sir. We found this thing in your bag, inside your room. Uh, uh, sir, I don't have anything like this inside my bag. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about it, sir. You said you wanted to see me. Mm. What I want to see you for is that um, after so much thought and prayers, I think I want to be your wife. Ah, wow. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, but, um, I need to inform my dad. Sure, sure. But I'll be when? After this session, I will go home and inform him. And you also need to inform your dad. Definitely, I will do that. Oh, thank you, Vera. Let's go to night class. I've told her my intentions. Eh, hey, Andy, what did she say? She has accepted. Wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> That's good. But Dad, I'm having a feeling that this is not proper. I mean, it's not! It's not! It's not! As Christians, we shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't. Will you stop that? Look, that feeling you have is from the pit of hell. And I reject it in Jesus' name. Eh, it's not proper. Babe. What we are doing here is not proper. Yet, it is proper for Pastor Johnson to kill my wife. That one is proper. Eh? It is proper for us to go days in this house without food, starving. Eh? That one is proper. Eh? It is proper for me not to be able to afford to pay your school fees. That one is proper, B. Look, leave that one, Jari. Leave it. Let me even ask you a question. Ask Dad. How much do you think I'm any as a pastor in the church? Mm, let me see. 150K. <laughs> you don't know anything. The amount you have just mentioned is four times more than my salary. I earn 40,000 naira per month. 40! If not for the help of friends and the church members, do you think I'll be able to afford all this? Yet, Pastor Johnson makes at least 600,000 naira. You know I know as an insider. I know his salary, all his allowances is more than 600,000 naira per month. Look at the disparity, eh? for God's sake. Yet we started this church together. We are like partners. And despite all this, I'm still his most loyal pastor. This is too bad. Look, the man hates me with passion. He doesn't even want to see my face at all. He's afraid that I will overthrow him. Yet, this thing now is not his personal property. We started it together. We are like partners. I know what I've invested into this church. It's like I have shares. I have shares in this church. And I, I, I must add my dividends. Yes, I, I must collect my profits. I must. Look, I'm not ready to throw away my investment in this church. And that is why I have a plan. 
Yes, I, I have a plan in place. And you, you are part of the plan. Ah, look. I'm making an invent. By the grace of God, we will be the next general overseer of the church. <laughs> because we are going to get Pastor Johnson out of the way. Pass over the We didn't call that you are coming in. You didn't give any notice that you are coming. What are you looking for at this time of the day? It's deliberate. Pastor Johnson, I came here to remind you of something. And what is that? I'm here to remind you that we got this vision together. I'm here today to remind you that I am not your servant but your equal. I came here today to remind you that your nonchalant attitude led to the death of my wife. Finally, I'm here today to remind you that the church, that church belongs to both of us. Where are all these coming from? For crying out loud. Hey? I got the vision. I mean, I got the vision to start a church right from the seminary. And I told you, I told you. And you said you were going to support me. You didn't say you were, we are, we were going to be equal. You said, anywhere I go to, you will go. Whatever I do, you will do. You will support me. So, how come the equality here now? That is past. Because today, this very day, Will be your head. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ah! Oh! Oh! Hello, Vera. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? And how is the Church of God, sir? I am fine. The Church of God is fine too. But somebody is gone. Who? Who is that? Your father. My father? How? When? Ha! Ah! Jesus! How? Victim of the devil. Pastor Johnson was a very good man. He was a devoted and committed worker in God's vineyard. Ah, I will miss him dearly. This is a painful exit. You all know that we were very close. Ah, I, I am sad. This is painful. Ah, he's a non-boomer. Very cool and gentle. He's even spiritual. It is true. He can sacrifice anything if it is in his power to do so. Hmm. Pastor Jones. Glory me. Glutamara me. Oh. I miss you. I miss you. Uh, brethren, let us rise up to observe a minute's silence in respect of the departed soul. May the humble soul of the departed 
Rest in peace. Amen. We need someone to occupy the position of General Vasi, to take the mandate and the mantle. Well, it's true. And who else can best fit the position than Pastor Kumala? This is a spiritual matter. I will urge us to go and pray about this before we conclude. <laughs> please, please hold on, please, Pastor. Are you trying to say that we others are not spiritual? Is that, not, is that what you are trying to say? Eh? Is that what you are trying to say? Eh? Are you saying that Pastor here is not spiritual enough? Uh, Pastor, I'm beginning to suspect you. It seems you have vested interest in this case. Maybe you have even been high in this position of the General Vasia before our General Vasia departed. Look, you know I was the closest pastor to him. Our late General Vasia revealed some things to me. He told me personally that whenever he is no more, that he wants me, Pastor Komalafe, to take over from him as the new general overseer of this church. In fact, he told me that that is the Holy Spirit's instruction and I am ready. The Holy Spirit has prepared me for this assignment and I am prepared to occupy the position of the general overseer. Since you are prepared, no problem then. We are due for now on. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Congratulations. Pastor. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. A round of applause to the new duo. <laughs> <laughs> Please let us see. Thank you. And I want to promise you that during my time as the general overseer of this church, we are going to experience unlimited growth. Hallelujah. 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 And supernatural expansion. Amen. Amen. Numerically. Amen. Financially. Amen. And spiritually. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Bro Peter, please uh, pray for us. Dad, between you and I, do you know anything about the death of Vera's dad? <sighs> yes, son, I do. Jesus. In fact, I am the killer. Jesus! Dad, why? Why? Look, I had no choice. He, he, he made me do it. You had a choice not to kill him. You are not a murderer. You are a killer. Will you shut up your mouth and sit down? Sit down. Look, I did this for us. In fact, I did this for you, you in particular. Now, everything belongs to us now, including the church. Will you settle down and get that into your head? Even your mother, who is in heaven, will be happy now because things are changing for us for the better. So settle down. Look, what happened has happened. Pastor Johnson deserves to be killed. After all, he killed your mother. That is karma for you. But that, that's painful. It's painful. I know. I know that it's painful, but that is it. That's the reality. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Eh? That is karma. Now, please let's put that aside. How is Vera? She's still sad and um, sorrowful. I want both of you to get married after your two service here. So fast? Dad, why are you doing this? Why? So fast? There's no need to waste time now. What are you waiting for again? Then I want to see you. Thanks. My daughter, I am very
very sorry for what happened. It is really very painful. I'm practically an orphan now. I lost my dad. I lost my mom. I've lost everything. Now. There's nothing for me again. Everything is gone. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't say that, my daughter. Eh? I am here for you. I'm there for you. Look, from now on, consider me as your father. Then, of course, Joshua too is there for you. You now have a new family. Eh? Look, the rest are short. Eh? It will be well with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. It is well with you. Then, uh, <laughs> my son Joshua uh, says he likes you and he wants to marry you. He told me, sir, that was what I was about to tell my dad before he passed on. Uh, it's quite unfortunate. But you see, um, I have prayed about it. And the Holy Spirit told me expressly that the two of you, you are meant to be together. Eh? Yes, that is what the Holy Spirit told me. Eh? And look, you won't have any problem. Because my hands are in it. My legs are in it. <laughs> In fact, the whole of my body, I'm supporting it. Eh? Thank you, sir. Then be rest assured, your education will be fully sponsored by us. You know, we are going to pay your school fees, we will pay your accommodation fees, your feeding, everything concerning your schooling. We are taking it over. Thank you, sir. It is well with you, my Amen. daughter. We are blessed with Jesus. This girl is still beautiful. Ah. Are you ready to confess now? Officer, I don't know anything about what you are saying. No, be me kill longer. Do you want to die? No, no. See, I promise you, if you confess, we are going to live here free. We are going to free you to confess. Are you sure? Yes. I will talk. Janet, how are you? I'm no, fine, ma. How is everything with you? Fine, ma. We are taking care of Pastor. Yes, ma. Make sure you take care of him, eh? Yes. And I want to give you something that you'll be adding to his food. It's like my time. You know, Pastor is always busy, he's always traveling. Here and there for ministrations and so and a lot of that. And you know, he's my father in law. I need to take care of him. So I need you to be adding this thing to his meal. It's, it's, it's a supplement, vitamin to be really, really, really help you. Just be adding it to his meal and. Since then, I've been putting it inside the girl's food. That was what happened. So you have been putting it inside your girl food since then? Yes, sir. Even the night before he died, I put it. Since when have you been putting it? Two weeks ago, sir. Thank you, sir. Will you not release me now? I will, but not now. Come on. Welcome to the Bible Club today. Yes, sir. Today I want to teach you a song. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know you love song. So the song is simple and uh, it's about love. So I will sing it once or twice and you will repeat after me. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I take it. Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. A little child like me, sit upon his lap, 
seat upon his lap. He loves a little child like me. He said, Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. A little child like me. Sit upon his lap. Sit upon his lap. He loves a little child like me. Let's go once more. Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. A little child like me. Sit upon his lap. Very good. Can you clap yourself? What a wonderful student. So, uh, Vera, you are not doing very well. Be careful. Otherwise, I will ask you to sing it alone. Hmm? Now, for the last time, can we sing together? Again? Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. Jesus loves a little child like me, me, me. A little child like me. Sit up on his laps. Sit up on his laps. He loves a little child like me. Very good. So now, we're playing about love. Uh, you see, from the song, we say, Jesus loves you. You can see that Jesus, what? Jesus loves you want you now to love your neighbor as well you must love your neighbors as well why because the scripture says forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who what trespass against us in other words if you don't forgive others their trespasses god cannot forgive you so for god to forgive you your trespasses and for him to answer your prayer, you must forgive others their trespasses. Why? Because forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Can you repeat after me? Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Vera, you are not doing very well. Uh, Vera, uh, repeat after me and louder. Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Again? Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Good. And uh, you, Joshua, you should also say it. Say forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Again? Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Very good. Now, I want to tell you a story. Yes, yes sir. sir. The story is about me. I mean about myself, not about, not a tale, not about somebody else. I'm talking about what happened to me. Hmm. My mother, my own mother, had a friend, a very close friend. In fact, we used to call her her best friend. But guess what? This her best friend poisoned my mother to death poisoned my mother to death for some reason I don't want to give details now I was so angry I was so bitter towards her in fact I can't imagine seeing myself forgiving her but guess what something happened I was looking it I came I was looking for admission to the pastor school I was looking for admission to the pastor school but if I go to this school, they will reject me. If I go to that school, they will reject me. If I go to the other school, they will reject me. I keep suffering rejection. No admission. I went into prayer. And I prayed. And God revealed to me that it was because of the unforgiveness and bitterness that was inside my heart towards that woman. That was the reason why I was not getting admission. So, if I want to get my admission, I want to get my blessing, I have to forgive her. So, I forgave her. And immediately, God started blessing me, my admission came, and everything. So, you can see that, as I've said earlier, forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Can you say it again? Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. 
Vera, I want you to repeat it again. See, forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Uh, Joshua, repeat it again. Forgiveness is what? Key to the kingdom. Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. So all of us together want to go? Forgiveness is key to the kingdom. My son Joshua has just completed his NYS. So I want him as my right hand man and personal assistant. That implies that he will be employed in this church as a pastor and he will be paid his salary. No, 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 sir. With due respect, sir. That is not the way we ordain people as pastors in this church. And I'm sure you know the law. Anybody that will be ordained as pastor must undergo training. Yes. And he has not undergone training. So please, sir, he cannot become a pastor. We need to follow the order of things before we do things. Let us follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Ah. Our bishop said, God is leading him to do this. Pastor. Bible said we should obey ah. the authority. It's the authority of our time. Ah. Let us follow what the Lord is leading him to do. Let us abide by it. Ah. God bless you, my dear Dickens. God bless you. I want you to know that that is what I want. And that is what we are going to do. Ah, what's the meaning of all this? If you don't respect my person, can't you respect the anointing of God upon my head and the position I occupy? Ah, sir, objection, sir. I still object to your submission, sir. This is not about respecting your anointing. We are talking about the law of the church, sir. The law of the church says anybody that will be a pastor must do these two things. One, he must be trained. Yes. Two, he must be married. Yeah. And he's not yet trained, he's not yet married. So, sir, he cannot become a pastor. We can't ordain him yet. Please, sir. Well, if it's that, there's no problem. We are going to do a crash training program for you. And concerning the other issue, I am happy to announce to you that my dear son will be getting married within the next two months. Ah, to who? To Vera Johnson, the daughter of our late General Vasia, Pastor Johnson. Can you see? Everything is settled. Ah. Everything works together for good. This is the will of God. Pastor Mrs. God has Are you supporting the Lord? Let us follow the leading ha. of the Holy Spirit. I want to Let us follow the leading of the Holy ha. Spirit. Yeah. God has arranged this. Ha. Are you spiritual than our bishop? Ha. Are you spiritual than him? Ha. Uh, Pastor, please, 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 just, just a question. Is it on or before? Ha. Anyone? No. So far, they is the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Look. We may be setting a very wrong precedent. But Bishop is doing this today. Bishop is doing this today. Another person may want to do it tomorrow. What are we going to say? I say no. If somebody comes tomorrow, what are we going to say? Hey, hey, hey. Nobody comes. Okay. I said it up. Now. Listen to me and listen well. That is my decision. And that is what we are going to do. Now, whosoever that is not happy with my decision can leave. Joshua, yes, sir. kneel down. We are ordaining him today. Father, in the name of Jesus, hey. let the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. receive function to function Amen. for supernatural exploits. In the name of Jesus, Amen. thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to present to you 
our newly ordained pastor, Pastor Joshua Komolase. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. My son, you are blessed. My daddy, you do excellent. God bless you. Hallelujah. What is this? I don't know. I said, do you know this song? I said, I do not know! Officer! Big guy! Do you know this lady? I know her. She said you give her this substance. Answer me! Madam, I beg you. Please tell them the truth. They promised to release me. Yes, I I gave her. So you are the one behind the killing of your husband and his dad? Before I can say anything, I need Pastor Julius here. Who is Pastor Julius? He's my Bible club teacher and a pastor in my church. There. This is Pastor Julius. Are you now ready to confess? Vera, please talk. My husband got married to me when I was 22 years old. I was in 300 level when we got married. After a year of, of the marriage, my husband's father came to my house to say hello to us. I excused myself. I went to the kitchen to prepare what we are going to eat. They were having some discussions. As Vera and then over our properties to you. You know, I, I told you that Pastor Johnson had lots of land and properties and they are all in our care now. She has not. So, so, so what are you waiting for? For God's sake, what are you waiting for? Time is going. Look, force her, pressurize her to do so, eh? Dad. I'm not like you, and I can't force her to give me what belongs to her. Well, no, shut up your mouth. I told her I've invested so much in this scheme. Look, I must not fail. I must not fail. Your bloody investment. So you have just told me to kill her the same way you kill her father. My daughter. What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. My daughter is not father and son. I just decided to bring this since we were married. We are just playing. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let me go back to the kitchen and put finishing touches to the meal. That was how I discovered that my husband and my father's best friend were the ones that killed my father. <laughs> and they had plans to ruin me and my father's legacy. Pastor Julius, you've taught me so much to forgive. And my father has also taught me to forgive. If it's where you, will you forgive? Thank God you know Pastor Komalafe. Thank God you know Pastor Johnson, my father. Officer, you said I should talk. I have to. I have thought. What do you have to say about it? It's Pastor Julius. Oh God. This is serious. But Vera, I want you to know that whatever happened to you, 
happened for a reason. Yes. You see, I know it is very difficult to forgive. Very, very difficult. With this thing you have said, I know it is not easy to forgive. But can we neglect the word of God? Can we neglect what the scripture says? Remember, God is merciful. He forgives the sins we commit against Him daily. Yes, He forgives. Because of that, He sent His Son into the world to die for our sin. He that is without sin drank the cup of our unrighteousness. He was without sin, yet he took our punishment. Vera, remember what I told you in the Bible club those days, that forgiveness is key to the kingdom. Do you remember that forgiveness is key to the kingdom? So you have to forgive. Find a place in your heart. I told you the story about my own mother. How my best friend killed her too. But I If it were you, will you forgive? <laughs> Dear, what happened? You screamed from your dream. I had a very terrible dream. You had a terrible dream? And what dream is that? Pastor Julius, I don't know what I did to my wife. She has been behaving somehow. She is quiet, moody, and always crying. Vera, what is happening? Can you please talk to me? Hey. Vera, what's happening? Look, I am your father. You can talk to me now. You requested that the four of us should come together for a meeting. And we are here. Vera, please speak up. I had a dream. Yes, you told me. Pastor Komarafe. Joshua. What happened to my father? And why did you get married to me? Nobody knows. We just saw his dead body on the floor. You killed my father! You killed him! You want John to kill my father! No, 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 baby, no, just take it easy. Take it easy. And you said you had a dream. And in the dream, you said you saw I and my son kill your father. And there. It was just a dream. It's not true. Look, I will never, ever kill your father. You killed my father! I didn't! You did! I said I didn't! You said you killed my father! You killed him! What kind of accusation is this for God's sake? I didn't kill your father! You killed him! Oh God! God! <laughs> Pastor Julius, we killed our father. What? You did what? We killed our father. And we killed our father. Let's all have our seats. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Envy and jealousy. But my father orchestrated it all. Ashokomalate. 
spoke words that to Joshua explained. It's on the truth. Uh, uh, it, it wasn't intentional. It wasn't. Pastor Johnson took everything that belonged to both of us. He shared this vision of becoming a pastor with me. And I encouraged him. We started together. And we did massive uh, evangelism and village outreaches. But for seven to eight years, we had no results. There was no result at all. Pastor Johnson was discouraged. I encouraged him. I was the one working. He was in full time. I supported the ministry with my money, with my salary. In fact, I used my salary to run the ministry. We planned the program with my salary. I used my money to convey members to church and back home. I donated my plot of land to the church. In fact, the land where the main church auditorium is situated now, was owned by me. I own the land. It's my property. It's my land. Later, I went into full-time ministry to When things changed for the church, I mean, when our congregation increased, when money started coming in, Pastor Johnson got married. And since then, since the time he got married, he forgot me. He siphoned all the church resources. Whenever I needed money and went to him with a request, he never answered me. I, I, I lacked. I suffered. And we started this thing together. My effort, my sweat is in this this big church. So, so I, I thought about it and I just, it wasn't intentional, but the thought just came to me that ah, there's a way I can get back what rightfully belongs to me. My investment in the church. And that was why I, I, I decided to okay. If I may ask, the church. I own the land. The land belongs to me. No. Pastor Komala said. The church. Neither the church belongs to me. The church belongs to God. Yes. It belongs to God. Yes. The church belongs to God. Pastors are just overseers. That is what the Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 28. That take it to yourself and to the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the flock of God which he has purchased with his precious blood. Pastor Komalafe, permit me to say that. You are not led by God to join the ministry. You join the ministry because of the gains, because of the proceeds, because of the things you are going to gain from the ministry. Unfortunately, the church is not a money-making business. The church is to serve heaven's mandate. And what is God's mandate to the church? The church is commissioned to serve the body of Christ and to influence the whole world. Yes. Another thing I see is envy. Just as Pastor Joshua have rightly mentioned it. And the Bible says in the book of Galatians 5, verse 17, let us not be conceited, provoking one another, envy one another. Pastor Omalafe, Pastor Joshua, we eat very little. What you eat is very little. So, it's a crime 
you have committed murder. If you ask God for forgiveness and ask them to forgive them. You ask me to forgive them. I should forgive them. They killed my father. You want to take everything, every time thing that belongs to my father. If it's where you will you forgive me, will you? This is serious. You see, Vera, whatever happened to you, happened to you for a reason. God knows about it. Though it is very difficult to forgive. But can we neglect the word of God? Can we neglect what the scripture says? Vera, remember that God is missing. He sent his holy because to die for us. Despite the fact that we sin against God on a daily basis. Yet, yet he forgave us our sin. His son that knew no sin was made free that we may become the righteous. He aids all our unrighteousness. That we may become the righteousness. We have to go to These were the same words he said in the dream I had. Vera, can you see that God loves you? That's why God showed you the dream. He don't want to perish. He wants to forgive. Vera, Vera. Vera. Can you see? Can you see what you have done? Can you see what you have caused? Eh? You've allowed the devil to use you as an instrument. You gave you, you, you gave devil opportunity in your life. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ and ask forgiveness from God. Forgiveness. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Shall we pray? Hello? Who is speaking? Yes. Where, where? My husband. Ow! Wait, where is Cavalier's Where? where? <laughs> Joshua, what happened? Vera, Vera, I know I've done a great harm to you. Please, I want you to forgive me. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I love you so, so, so much. <coughs> Vera, I love you so much. <coughs> hey, just calm down. Please. Vera. Doctor! Doctor! I, I, I love you too. I'm ready to forgive you. Doctor! Oh, no, 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 no. Done this evil and terrible thing. And I am here to, to seek for your forgiveness and to drop the leadership of this church. 
then submit myself for any punishment you may be fit. Ah! I know that what I did was so bad and terrible. But I am now a changed person. I have surrendered my life to Christ. I am now born again. So please forgive me. I plead for your forgiveness. Pastors of this church, I have forgiven Pastor Kamala. And I pray the father of my unborn child and my husband rest in peace. With all this being said, I'm ready to hand over the leadership of this church to Pastor Julius. Vera, why? Is this not too much? I'm just an ordinary children pastor, please. How can I occupy this exalted position? Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. 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 We cannot do this without him. As man is walking, he has to walk in his accountants. A life without Christ will be a victim of the devil. Watch your ways, your motives, in all things you do. Don't give from to the devil, the ways of God. Spirit is the part to conquer the flesh.